Okay, a coil of inductance 350 microhenry, microhenry carries a current of 1.2 ampere. What is the amount of energy in the coil? Okay, so uh, this one also about inductance, uh, self inductance. Uh, huh? It talks only has uh, one coil, right? Only has one coil. Uh, this uh, this uh, question only involve one coil, right? One coil. Is there any other coil? No, only one coil. Only one coil. So th this is about self inductance, lah. About self induction. Yeah, it doesn't involve two coil. If two coil is mutual induction, mutual induction. Okay. Uh, this one is one coil, so it's about self induction only. Yeah. So this is the induct induct self inductance value. Okay, and then micro, uh, you have to change, micro Henry, you need to change to Henry, SI unit. Uh, and then you have the current here. I want to find the amount of energy stored. Energy stored, uh, so energy stored in the coil. So it's also very, very simple. Uh, energy stored in the inductor is half Li square. Lah. Half Li square. <coughs> okay, so what is the L? L is uh, 350 micro, micro is negative 6, yeah, micro is negative 6, uh, and then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this one is current, uh, 1.2 ampere, uh, 1.2 ampere, yeah, okay, so uh, calculate the answer, let's see what we get, <coughs> excuse me, negative 6 and 50 exponent negative 6 multiply 1.2 square <coughs> okay so what do we get yeah uh it is a 2.52 exponent negative 4 joule Okay, so uh, this is my answer. 2.52 exponent negative 4 joule. Is that correct? Okay, uh, 2.52 exponent negative 4 joule. That's correct. Okay, the answer is correct. Now, the second question. The current in the coil is reduced to 0 in 8 milliseconds. What is the induced EMF across the coil? So, I want to find the induced EMF. Yeah, induced EMF. Uh, induce EMF <coughs> through this self induction yeah so uh, this one is talking about current reduced to zero yeah in eight milliseconds so this is the time taken uh. this is the time taken so uh, got change of current isn't it got change of current so what's the initial current initial current is uh, 1.2 ampere uh, this is the initial current okay that's the initial current. Uh, okay, so we have the initial current. Okay, this is the initial. Oh, uh, what is this? This is the initial current. Uh, this is the initial current, and then the final current is zero. Yeah. Uh, this is the final current. Okay. Uh, <coughs> final current is uh zero. Okay, what is this? Okay, so current reduced from uh, 1.2, initial current reduced to 0 in 8 milliseconds. So what is the induced EMF? So about this, uh, we refer to the formula in self-induction. Okay, formula in self-induction, uh, previous example. I just want to uh, copy this one. These are the formula we always use. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the one. I think. <coughs> uh, over here lah. I think it's better put over here. Okay. Uh, so make it bigger. Yeah. So, uh, actually, based on the notes, uh, this one, if you don't have this one yet, you please copy down. 
yeah this is the summary between self-induction and mutual induction formula this this formula is uh, almost the same you see between self and mutual induction the l change to m and n square change to n1 n2 the rest is the same lah. okay uh, this one is the the current in the same coil produce induced emf in the same coil yeah but this one is the change of current in one coil induce the emf in another coil in the neighboring coil uh, yeah change of current in coil one change of current in coil one induce emf in coil two uh, okay this is called mutual induction <coughs> right uh, okay copy this okay but self-induction is just uh, involve one coil one coil so it's just uh, equal to negative l di dt okay so i uh, okay uh, this is the formula which i uh, rewrite all the formula here all right so for self-induction we have the formula we can use induced emf equal to negative n d phi over dt or we can say that uh, induced emf equal to negative l di over dt okay uh, yeah the, this emf is induced because there is a change of uh, this emf is induced because there is a change of flux in the coil uh, or we can say this emf is induced because there is a change of current change of current that causes a change of flux uh, yeah and also causes the the also induce the emf in the coil uh, yeah this emf is induced because of the change of current this emf is induced because there is a change of flux okay so uh, these two combined we get n phi equal to li yeah n phi equal to li uh, or the capital phi equal to li then we also have l equal to mu naught n square a over l okay so which formula is suitable for us to find the induced emf yeah just the two formula at the top lah number one and number two but uh, we don't have the change of flux and also the number of turns we don't have but we have the change of current now you see that it say initial current reduced to final current zero over the time taken uh, eight milliseconds and then the self inductance also we have the value so we can use the second formula uh, to find the induced emf isn't it uh, so you see very simple yeah? we have the formula already just use so induced emf is equal to negative l di over dt <coughs> the negative sign is important huh? if you don't write the negative sign here yeah because the formula itself already have a negative sign this negative sign is about Lenz law yeah which carries a very important meaning it's about direction yeah direction of the induced emf so this negative you shouldn't uh, just throw away shouldn't ignore okay when uh, the equation has a negative sign you must copy the negative sign also okay uh, this negative sign if you don't write uh, then you will lose mark okay you will lose mark so the negative sign if you have negative sign you must write the negative sign yeah in the formula okay so uh, all right so let's calculate yeah let's calculate so it's negative l l what is the l value uh, 350 micro micro is exponent negative six uh, micro is negative six yeah negative six negative six uh, henry uh, yeah micro henry yeah come henry okay change of current change of current um okay actually this one this later you can write below here again i want to write something above here this uh l this l uh this di di you can write as uh final minus initial current <coughs> is final current minus initial current over the time taken uh, understand d di over dt di over dt is uh, i final minus i initial understand not di means i final minus i initial is a change of ta change of current change of current so it's a uh, final minus initial current and then over change of time this this thing is like what is like it is like uh delta i over delta t 
uh, delta i over delta t change of current over change of time change of current is final minus initial current uh, like that yeah okay final current final current is zero final current is zero final current is zero and then initial current is 1.2 ampere 1.2 ampere Ah, okay initial current is 1.2 ampere and then uh, what is the time taken 8 millisecond 8 millisecond so uh, 8 exponent change to SI unit milli is negative 3 negative 3 second okay ah, so I think that's it okay divided by this time taken uh, so what's the answer let's calculate yeah, let's calculate uh, 0 uh, 0 minus 1.2 okay and then divide by <coughs> 8 exponent negative 3 uh, and then multiply by the negative 350 exponent negative 6 answer is uh, 0 point positive uh, the answer becomes positive 0 0.0525 0 0.525 both uh, that's the answer am i right yes that's correct okay in this emf is in the coil is because of self induction okay it's, it's 0 0.053 or 0 0.0525 525 okay that's correct the answer is correct so that's it yeah so self-induction these are the formula you can use ne e equal to negative n d phi over dt e equal to negative l d i dt okay, n phi equal to l i uh, l equal to mu naught n square a over l all right uh, if for the self if for the mutual inductance uh, the formula also similar okay just you have subscript uh, this one is e2 equal to n negative n d phi 2 over dt and then e2 equal to negative m di1 over dt and then this one is m i1 equal to n2 phi 2 and then m equal to mu naught n square n1 n2 a1 over l1 okay so these are the formula you're going to use all right so okay that's all for these questions bye